Hello, Miles Maeda here with more Modern Yoga Movement videos for you. We're continuing in the Spiral Line series, focusing on twisting and spiral movements and postures. So we're going to sit with the legs extended out in front. And we'll do simple twisting to start. So this is Dandasana, our staff pose. And just bring the right knee up. You can keep the foot flat on the floor. And then press against the thigh, holding the leg as well. And creating a gentle spiral to the right. And we'll switch legs, bending the left knee and spiral to the left. And switch. So you're pushing with your right hand against the thigh to twist. And then pushing the hand against the left thigh to twist. Okay, now bend both knees and just place your hands back behind you. And we're gonna roll onto the sacrum. And here we wanna feel a little bit of a stretch in the back. Mm -hmm. So the hands are pressing just a little bit forward and you can feel that you're on your sacrum and the back is curling up and stretching just a little. And we'll come back into that position where we extend the left leg and the right foot leg is bent. And we cross the right leg over. So this is a variation of Mari Chasana C. Just hug your arms around the right leg and start spiraling to the right. So this is gonna help us uh, in the lower back, the lumbar spine. So we're squeezing the leg into the chest, lifting our spine. So don't worry about the chest or the shoulders or the head so much, but try to feel this in the lower back. And one thing that can help here is just take your left hand, excuse me, take your right hand and just brush it across the belly. And it'll feel like you're pulling the flesh of the belly. So it's coming across the thigh. And that might help you feel like you're spiraling a little deeper and then release. So we roll back, again, a little stretch in the back, forehead to knees, and then we extend the right leg, left knee bent, and we bring that foot over across the leg and hug the left knee into the chest, sitting up nice and tall. Again, focusing mainly on the lumbar spine here, so something that can help is take your left hand and pull the flesh of the belly to the left. So you can brush completely across the belly and feel like you're pulling it over onto the left side of the leg. And we're reaching through that right heel, feeling this in the lower back. And release. So we'll go back onto the sacrum, curling forehead to knees. And now cross the right leg over the left. And you can again do this Marichasana C position. Or if it's comfortable for you, you can bend that bottom leg for Ardha Matsyandrasana. So we start by hugging the knee into the chest. So we did this already. And you can feel you're pulling the flesh of the belly to the side. And your right arm reaches up, inhale. Also lift your spine. Keep that lift as you exhale and bring the hand to the floor behind you, pressing down on the floor. So this will stabilize us. Then we bring that left elbow on the other side of the knee. And now we can focus on the thoracic spine. So the ribs are turning and the shoulders are turning as well. So we feel this starting from the base of the spine and spiraling up. Inhale here. And then exhale, release. And let's roll back, rock back, stretching the back a little bit, and then cross the left leg over the right. And you can keep that leg ex bottom leg extended or bend the knee for Ardha Matsyandrasana. So we sit up nice and tall and first hug the knee into the chest. Sit right on top of the sits bones. Inhale, that left arm reaches up. So feel the spine lifting. Keep the spine lifting as you exhale and then bring the hand down to the floor behind you. You can use your fingertips if you can't get your palms flat and keep that lift of the spine. 
Now, with the support of that left hand on the floor, we can release and bring the right elbow to the other side of the knee. So we inhale, lift. You can draw in and lift the belly. And exhale, more deeply spiral. So we're still starting feeling the lumbar spine. And then we add the thoracic spine, rotating the ribs and the shoulders. So inhale. And on the exhale, let's release. And rock back. Cross the right leg over the left. And you can come right into your Ardha Matsyandrasana. Now, if you are really flexible and, or you want a goal to reach, you can bind in this position. So let's, once again, hug the knee into the chest. So that's the lumbar spine. Then we place the elbow over the knee, adding the thoracic spine. Now the last is the cervical spine, the head and the neck. So you can turn your head as your chin goes towards your shoulder. And if you are able to do this, you can take your left hand and thread it uh, through the space that's created with that right leg. And then reach behind you. And then you grab your right hand behind your back. So this is binding in this position. So inhale, you're lifting, and exhale. This is the deepest twist, adding the cervical spine. So we're going from the base all the way up to the top of the spine. Inhale, lift, and exhale, gently release. And once again, let's rock back, curling, and then cross the left leg over the right. And you can always modify this if you need to. So just to do this systematically, you hug the knee into the chest first, lumbar spine. Add the thoracic spine, bringing the elbow over the knee. And then when you feel ready, you add the cervical spine, the head and neck. And if you're flexible enough, you can take that right arm, thread it through the leg, reach behind your back, and hold on to the hand or the wrist. Inhale, we lift. And exhale, we deeply twist. And again, feel this from the base of the spine going all the way up to the top of the spine. So let's inhale, lift. And exhale, twist. And then release. And one last curl back. And then we can stretch the legs out in front on the floor. Inhale, reach the arms up, reach through your heels. And on the exhale, let's fold forward, grab your feet. If you can't grab your feet, grab your legs. And we want to pull back. So I'm pulling my toes, reaching my heels forward, stretching my arms, extending my knees. And it feels like I'm stretching my lower back, the kidney area. You can let your chin drop towards your chest. Feel that stretch going up to your neck and even into your scalp. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, let's go a little further forward. So now it's okay to bring your head down towards your knees. Elbows are wide, pulling your spine. Uh, spine forward, top of the head reaching towards your feet. And just take long, deep breaths here. Shoulders down from your ears, nice long neck. And then inhale, come up. And exhale, relax. And that completes this sequence.